When programming or coding for long periods, it's essential to have a comfortable monitor to keep eye strain to a minimum. It's important to get a monitor that's the right size, with enough screen real estate to have multiple windows open and still work comfortably without having to squint. A flicker-free monitor is also a must, as backlight flicker can cause headaches and eye strain with prolonged periods of use. It's a 27-inch screen with a 1440p resolution, with thin bezels that are well suited for multi-monitor setups. It has a good build quality, and its superb ergonomics allow you to adjust the screen easily for the best viewing experience. It gets bright enough to overcome glare in well-lit rooms, handles reflections well, and its IPS panel's wide viewing angles are great for sharing work and content. It isn't the best for dark rooms, though, as it has a low contrast ratio that makes blacks look grayish. With a 27-inch screen, there's plenty of space to work comfortably with multiple windows open side by side. It has a 75Hz refresh rate that makes motion look a bit smoother than a typical 60Hz panel, which is great for quickly scrolling through documents or for some casual gaming. Response time is great, and there's also a black frame insertion feature to reduce motion blur, and adaptive sync support to minimize screen tearing. There are a couple of USB ports for charging, a pair of integrated speakers, and a quick fit virtual scale feature that lets you preview documents in their actual size before printing. There's no HDR support, however, it's expected of something in this price range. The ViewSonic VX2778 SMHD is a 27 and 16 to 9 aspect ratio LED monitor which built with 2560 x 1440 screen resolutions. It is sold in medium affordable price and will make no one feel guilty to purchase this one of the best monitors for programming. This monitor has a borderless screen with frameless edge-to-edge -edge glass faceplate built with ultra-slim bezel beneath. The glass makes you super comfortable while watching multi-screen on a line. It also comes with super clear IPS type panel technology and 1780 ultra wide viewing angle that deliver same image quality no matter if you are watching the screen from the front, right, left, below or from above. Need a better HD display from your favorite devices in this monitor? Don't worry, because you can instantly connect your favorite devices through versatile HDMI, 1.4 display port, and mini display port inputs on the monitors. Last but not least the ViewSonic VX2778 SMHD is completed with dual speaker that makes you easy to achieve realistic digital experience and maybe you can enjoy listening music during your work. The 32-inch monitor boasts an ultra-slim curved design with a glossy white silver frame. The sharp edges and circular stand complete the beautiful look. You'll need a fairly large space to put this screen, but if you're going for an aesthetic appearance, you can mount it on the wall. There is a small joystick on the lower back of the monitor. The brand truly had a great idea because this joystick allows quick access and navigation of the control menu. The 32-inch monitor has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 with a refresh rate of 60 Hz and a response rate of 4 milliseconds. In this day and age where you can find tablets operating at 4K resolution, this screen seems a little too large to be taken seriously at 1080p. If you are a keen programmer, you will notice the difference in pixel pitch with a 27-inch screen. Both the picture quality and overall performance are exceptional. For programmers, the capability to open multiple documents on a single screen and an increased landscape for working make the Samsung C32F outrank other models on the market. It's a 27-inch model that provides plenty of screen space for multitasking, and its 4K resolution results in a high pixel density, making text look incredibly sharp. It has a good build quality, and its excellent ergonomics allow you to adjust it. Its IPS panel has wide viewing angles, making it easier to share your work with coworkers. However, dark room performance isn't that great due to its low contrast ratio, which is expected of most IPS panels. Unfortunately, while it has good overall gaming performance, it has a basic 60Hz refresh rate and doesn't support any variable refresh rate technologies. However, it has a good response time, and there's a significant amount of overshoot that results in visible motion artifacts. Also, it supports HDR and delivers a pretty decent experience at that, especially when viewing in a dark room. If you tend to work long hours, its flicker-free backlight can help reduce eye strain. There's a generous selection of ports, including three USB 3.0 and two USB-C ports that support DisplayPort Alt Mode. 
This lets you display an image from a compatible device such as a MacBook Pro and charge the device at the same time, which helps you keep a clean workstation. Also, one of the USB-C ports can be used for charging even when it's off. All in all, this is a great monitor that most programmers should be happy with, and one that's competent enough for some casual gaming on the side. If you need an even bigger screen, check out the LG 32U99W. Its massive 32-inch screen provides significantly more screen real estate than the Dell Ultra Sharp U2720Q without sacrificing too much pixel density, so text still looks razor sharp. Unfortunately, it isn't as well built, and it lacks swivel adjustment. Response time is about the same, and it also has a 60Hz refresh rate, however, it has free sync support to reduce screen tearing when gaming. It has a USB-C port that supports display port alt mode and has a picture-in-picture -picture mode, which allows you to display an image from two input sources at once. The stand is large, and the curved shape prevents you from placing larger objects directly in front of the monitor. The monitor wobbles significantly, even typing on a nearby keyboard causes the screen to shake noticeably. Overall, the Dell is a better choice, as it has better ergonomics, it has more connectivity options, and it's much cheaper. However, if you need more screen real estate, then go with the LG.